Continuing then with the internet protocol, IP is a best effort protocol. Um, we are still uh, here at the network layer. Uh, we are not guaranteeing anything. We're, you know, making the best effort to do the routing, relaying, getting uh, the packets from where they start to where they finish. But if anything um, happens along the way, we're not we're not correcting that. We're not fixing that yet. That that is up at the tr transport layer. So here. Um, uh, well, for example, I, I've talked about streaming. Um, streaming, uh, <laughs> despite the way that people think about it, is not a connection-oriented protocol. We don't um, uh, we we don't guarantee a connection. We don't uh, guarantee that everything gets through. Streaming, um, in regard to streaming it is more important to get the stream out as as constantly as as you know in a sense sort of as fast as possible and if packets are dropped we consider that not as important as as you know getting the stream out sending the packets out as you know with as little interference as possible. And so with as little interaction as possible, just, you know, send them. Uh, if they drop, if individual packets get lost, too bad, that's, that's acceptable losses. So um, this is how, uh, you know, well, as I say, you know, it's, it's best effort. Hopefully things get through, uh, but we're not guaranteeing anything. This is an unreliable datagram service. We're not, uh, we're not fixing anything. We're not guaranteeing anything. Now, of course, the addressing, we've got uh, the two different types, which you may or may not be familiar with. The uh, um, IPv4 that uh, everybody is used to seeing in the communications uh, textbooks, and you'll have the you know, dotted decimal, uh, you know, 255.255.255.255, you know, well, 0 to 255. Of course, you know, when you have all 255, you know, a string of zeros, uh, sorry, a string of ones, rather, um, that is the, uh, actually the broadcast address for all of the IPv4 uh, internet. But, um, we what uh, around 5 billion uh, possible IP addresses so um, if we if we wanted to give an IP address to everyone on earth we couldn't you know it's just not enough uh, so we uh, for, for many years we got around it by uh, having the um, you know, sort of internal uh, addresses, the the 10 series, the 192.168 uh, uh, series of addresses. Um, the, those, uh, what was it, 72, was it? Anyway, um, those uh, classes of addresses, the groups of addresses that we could use with, you know, one IP address for our router and the router handling uh, network address translation uh, and in a sense you know that's uh, a kind of an example of a um, uh, circuit level uh, proxy when we get into uh, the firewalls but we're not quite at the firewalls yet anyways um, so that's our our standard uh, IPv4 addressing. Um, the IPv6 addressing um, gives us uh, 16 uh, couplets of uh, uh, hexadecimal or, or you know, base 
16 characters, um, uh, numbering from 1 to F. Uh, so, you know, and, and two characters uh, giving the range that we need there. Um, which gives us, a, of course, a much larger address space. Um, it's so much larger, in fact, that um, we could assign an IPv6 address for every molecule on the surface of the Earth down to a depth of one meter. All the, you know, all of those molecules. Molecules. You know, so we're dealing with atomic level. We're not talking about grains of sand. Um, all of those would be covered by uh, IPv6 addressing. So we've got a much, much larger address space as uh, we, you know, look at, at much more extensive use of the Internet. All of Internet of Things, all the attachments uh, that we want to make in this network space. So, um, uh, there is that. Um, now, the, the IPv4 address blocks, I mean, previously we had um, classes of address space. Uh, A-class addresses, which uh, gave you 24 bits that you could deal with as you wanted. B-class addresses uh, gave you um, 16 bits to play around with. Um, and then there were C, D, and E-class addresses. And eventually we got uh, tired of assigning that, and so we had, uh, you know, the slash and, and number of bits uh, available. Um, in order to do that uh, masking. Um, we, again, um, you know, that was with the IPv4. Uh, how extensive that's going to be, I, an awful lot of us are still using IPv4, uh, particularly internally. Um, the IPv6 is, uh, you know, sort of, kind of well, IPv4 is compatible with IPv6, is probably the way to put it. There's an awful lot more that you can do with IPv6 that you can't do with IPv4. But, for example, IPsec um, is a... Uh, and we'll talk about it, uh, security. Um, is a, an IPv6 protocol. But it works perfectly well with IPv4. So, you know, there, there are definitely things that are part of IPv6 that do work fine with IPv4. Um, anyways, we'll, we'll uh, deal with some of those and uh, that, but, you know, this is the addressing, uh, the two types of addressing that you may encounter.